Our book starts from HarlanAndroid.com, where we get <laughs> on Android every day. Anyway, today we will be showing you how to unroot your LG G3, unbrick your LG G3 completely back to stock. Now, the good thing with the LG G3, there is no Nox counter, a binary counter like Samsung devices. Uh, kudos to LG for that. Uh, but uh, in, just in case you need to return your phone uh, for warranty purposes, or you just want to get it back to stock so you can sell it on eBay or uh, maybe you've ended up in a boot loop, nasty boot loop you just can't get out of. Um, you can go ahead and flash the LG stock firmware uh, with the LG flash tool. So let me show you how to do this. Let's go do this, baby. All right, let's go ahead and do this. The first thing you'll need to do is power off your phone. Um, you can also just take the battery out if you want to. Uh, perhaps you ended up in a boot loop. All right, and next thing, you'll need a computer. I'll be using a Windows computer. Um, LG's flash tool, which we'll be using, only supports Windows. So I'll go ahead and grab your friend's um, computer, Windows computer, uh, or maybe you have one in the basement somewhere. Um, so let's go ahead and do this. Also, you can go on eBay and uh, go buy one, like, really old laptop for, like, 100 bucks. Uh, anyway, first thing you'll need to do is turn off your phone. And then you'll need to connect it. Uh, make sure you hold the volume up on the back of your LG G3. All right, while holding that, go ahead and plug it into the USB on your computer. All right, and keep holding it. And you'll see a download mode there. All right, and it'll say firmware update. Do not unplug the USB. So leave that alone, and we'll go to our computer next. All right, next you need to download uh, the LG G G3 stock firmware. Um, so go to lgg3root.com. If you go to lgg3 stock fir uh, factory firmware link here, uh, you'll find all of these stock firmwares here. Also, if you can't find it here, try Googling it. Um, you should be able to find it. Now, you'll need a firmware in this file called DLL. All right, so go ahead and download the appropriate version. I'll be using my T-Mobile LG G3, for example. So I'm going to go ahead and download the uh, LG G3 stock firmware. Go ahead and click on it. Um, download it to your computer, and the download link is here at the bottom. Eh, I can't see it, but um, just enter the CAPTCHA, and then you'll be able to download. Also, you need to download the .dll file, um, so go ahead and download that also. All right, once you have those files downloaded, and also you do need to download the LG uh, Flash tool, and also you do have to have the drivers installed. Now, if you root it um, using my methods on lg 3 brutecom uh, or any other method, you probably install the drivers. Uh, if you didn't install the drivers, I'll have the links where you can get it. Go ahead and install the drivers now, um, and uh, we should be good to go. Uh, first thing you'll need to do is, uh, as you can see, I've got the DLL file and also the actual stock firmware. Go ahead and unzip the stock firmware. You get a fo folder uh, with this file called .tot. That's the actual stock firmware file and uh, you should have those two files. And then also go ahead and download, obviously, LG Flash Tool. I'll have a link to where you can also get this. Get this. All right, let me go ahead and unzip the LG Flash Tool. All right, inside you'll find uh, two files. Um, go ahead and click on Setup LG Flash Tool, uh, and this will install the program. Uh, there we go. And once it's done, do not run the program yet. Um, just go ahead and finish. And what you're going to do is uh, do a right-click copy on this mega lock, all right? And then go to your uh, C drive, most likely in your um, uh, in your C drive. You should find a folder called LG. So go into LG and go into LG flash drive, and then go ahead and do right-click and paste, all right? I'm going to do paste and go ahead and copy and replace, all right? That's pretty much it. Next, what you want to do is uh, go ahead and open up the LG Flash tool. Oh, sorry. Well, what you want to do is uh, go ahead and open up your device manager. Um, you can go to your control panel, hardware and sound, and device manager for Windows 7. Uh, this is what I'm using here. And go ahead and go all the way down to ports here. All right. And if you have the drivers installed, um, you should see LG Mobile USB uh, serial port. All right, go ahead and double click there, and then go ahead and go to port settings, all right? And go ahead and go to advanced, and make sure this is set to COM41, okay? Um, set it to COM41. 
I might say it's already used, just ignore it uh, and hit OK. And it should now say COM41. If you got to this point, you're pretty much all ready to go. All right, go ahead and open up the LG Flash tool, uh, which should be in your uh, start bar there. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, start LG Flash tool. All right, and this will start the LG Flash tool. All right, once you uh, open the program, you'll see this screen here. Um, go ahead and select manual mode, all right? And go ahead and click on this uh, dot, dot, dot here. And then go ahead and find the DLL file you downloaded for your model of LG G3. All right, and then you're going to uh, click on add. And then the same thing here, I'm going to go into the directory where I unzipped the firmware file. And this is that tot file I showed you earlier. Go ahead and hit open. And that's pretty much it. You don't have to touch anything else. And hit OK. All right. And it, this is what it's going to look like. Um, you should be all ready to go. Go ahead and click on this button here. And this will actually check your files, make sure it's uh, compatible. And uh, once it's ready to go, we will go on from there. And you'll see, uh, you can double check the model of your phone. Um, D851 is my T-Mobile G3. Make sure you flash the correct version. Uh, otherwise, you know, something weird could happen. You could break your phone. All right, once you see ready here, what you're gonna do is go ahead and uh, unplug the phone for like a couple seconds, all right? And then go ahead and plug it back in, all right? And this should start the firmware update process. And when it's done, uh, your phone will be completely back to stock. And I forgot to mention, this will erase everything on your phone except for the contents of storage on your SD card. Um, sorry, if I, if I forgot to mention that. Um, so, you know, this is, this is erasing everything because you want to get it back to completely back to stock. And I'll have that in the beginning of the video um, so people, you know, don't wait till this, uh, uh, this step. And uh, that should get it going. Um, just give it a second here and... Uh, There we go, it took about a minute uh, for that thing to keep going, so don't unplug it. And uh, it's working now. And it's flashing all the stock firmware. And when it's done, you sh your phone should be complete back to uh, stock firmware. I'm gonna go ahead and skip all this or fast forward all this. All right, uh, we finish in 209 seconds, and uh, what you should see on your phone is this thing here. You can go ahead and unplug it now, and uh, you can go ahead and reset it. I'm just gonna pull the battery real quick, and uh, let me go ahead and switch the camera angle while this boots up. All right, let me go ahead and switch the camera angle. All right, as soon as I put the battery back in, it started up automatically, uh, so let it boot. And once we get to the welcome screen, we should be pretty much done and uh, your phone has now been returned to 100% stock. Um, this is actually a lot better than uh, Samsung's latest uh, tactics in trying to you know, prevent people from uh, you know, customizing their own phone they already paid for. Um, so there is no Knox counter like that on the LG. So I really give props for LG. One of the main reasons why I'm kind of moving um, to LG also. Um, there you go. There we go. And that booted up really quick. Uh, and uh, my phone is, you know, uh, brand new, just like the day I got it. And also, you know, if, if there is a new version of firmware, you can always update OTA after installing an older version. Um, so that should solve all your problems. And thanks for watching this video. As you can see, you can easily return your LG G3 completely back to stock. Um, no one will know that you rooted your phone. Um, so there you have it. If you like this video, as always, don't forget to hit that like, subscribe button. And as always, stay on Android.